If you go by patterns, if you go by historical record of any kind, you know that the chances that an 87-year-old woman who's mugged, beaten the hell out of, when she's walking home from church in Jersey City, New Jersey, you know the chances are overwhelmingly that is a black person responsible. Maybe a couple of the fellas. But that's not how we roll around here. We only roll on what we know for sure. We only know who gets arrested. We only know who did it, not who probably did it. I am crying. I trembled. I trembled. I'm crying. A bruised and battered great-grandmother weeps tonight as she describes how she was savagely mugged while walking home from mass. The blows to her head were crushing. Then they boxed me three times. They boxed me here, they boxed me here. In never my mouth. Saturday night, this 87-year-old Catholic faithful who attends Mass every day was heading home after receiving communion. It was about 6.30 at night in Jersey City. She says she first saw the men loitering by Our Lady of Mercy. Then, as she started up these stairs near McGovern Park, they pounced. Suddenly, they pushed me, they grabbed me. I fell down, and I was, I was already unconscious. We're told the Jersey City cameras in the area just happened to be down that night for repairs, but officials did find some private surveillance videos. They are now looking for these two men. So in this case, they arrested a guy named Safwan Pridgin and a couple, one of his fellas. They said that he beat, they beat the hell out of her when she started screaming. They put their hands over her mouth so nobody could hear her. Please, sir, I want some more. Yeah, he's got a channel on the SoundCloud where his favorite song is a song by a guy named Criminal. It's called 3 a.m. in Jersey City. It's all about guns, money, drugs, bitches, and robbing people in Jersey City. Yeah, that's his favorite song. His next favorite song had better be, I hope the judge who gets my case is a big believer in criminal justice reform and letting black people who commit crimes back on the street pay not to make the black kids angry. We don't 